feel like an idiot, but maintain the visual with the boat there. You're still clear to land three spots. Affirmative, Chief. I'm Affirmative that I'm an idiot or that you're going to maintain the visual? No comment. Yeah, my wife would have jumped on the first one, thanks. That's 2250, you got precious cargo on board. My daughter and my granddaughter on board that plane. You are definitely clear to land runway 4 right to win 140 at 10 and welcome back from Atlanta. Well, thank you, sir. Clear to land 4 right, and we'll make sure they get there safely. Just do me a favor, you tell Deanne and Bryn that Daddy said hi. Well, Dad. Oh boy, the pressure's on. Yep, the pressure's there. You guys know me. Okay, I'll be careful. Don't worry. Bank angle. Bank angle, check. Bank angle. Yeah. Well, Sink rate. Hold it up. Hold it up. Sink rate. Sink rate. Can you make it, Kevin? Good, good, good. Come a little more. 50. 40. Okay. 30. 20. Good. Yeah. Oh, you're not an emergency? Negative. No, we have an engine failure, but not an emergency. Oh, not an emergency. Okay, just so an engine failure, but you're not an emergency. Are you over, overweight landing, they want to know? Not at all. No, not even that. Not even that? No. All right. The emergency equipment is standing by. I'll be doing needed. Two Kennedy Tower, the last guy up was a heavy jet. Caution, wake turbulence. The wind is 010 at 6, 31 left. Kilo, kilo, clear for takeoff. And uh, can we delay that about 30 seconds for Delta 202? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We do not allow delays here at Kennedy. Can I get that uh, recording of that sent to my email? <laughs> It'll probably be on YouTube tomorrow. Air China 981, have they cleared you into the ramp? Roger. Run to the run to Air China 981. Okay, they have cleared you into the ramp. 981, go ahead. Have you been cleared into the ramp? Okay, could answer the ramp. No, that was a question. Have the ramp people cleared you into the gate? Roger, to the gate there, Sean 981. I'll try it again. It's a question. Hold your position. This is a question. Sergeant interrogative. Have you been cleared into your gate? Okay, well, hold, hold here. Okay, how about the question? Have they cleared you into the gate? Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the flight crew here, looks like we're headed into a little bit of a storm system. If you could please sit in your seats with your seatbelts fastened until we get through it. Here on Spirit Airlines, we have basically two options for dealing with storm systems. We could fly around them or basically suck it up and go right through them. If you prefer to deviate around the storm, this does require all passengers to purchase the $25 storm deviation fee. If you haven't done so, you can do so with your credit card or debit card. Just swipe it above your head there in the credit card slot. And we'll be deviating as soon as we make the $2,900 quarter that we're short on. Uh, should be entering the storm cell in about five minutes, so uh, talk amongst yourselves and uh, maybe you can work together. Once again, we have Spirit Airlines. Thanks for choosing us. We'll be back in a bit. Water, banana, or banana, two nine or six, ten, four, travel, short, one, seven, at Bravo, waiting, look, really. Hold, go to one, seven. You just call me a banana? Uh, no, sir, no, sir. You did not hear that correctly. I heard it. <laughs> ground, this cactus 50. We're showing a fire on our number two engine. The engine is shut down. Is there any way you can roll trucks out here and get them to look at it for us? Hey, folks, good evening once again from the flight deck. As you look out the windows and notice all the rain, the lightning, and everything else, hey, right now they have a uh, stop on all departures, so uh, we're looking for an additional extended delay here. Uh, we're just going to wait for this thunderstorm to pass, and they're going to reevaluate the uh, departure to the north and east. And once we find out some information, we'll be happy to pass it along to you. So just sit back, relax, enjoy the ride here, and uh, or sit here. And uh, once we once we know some more information, we'll pass it on. Thanks for your patience. Oh, thank you. Hey, nice PA, man. Very good job. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Well said. Hey, can we get some peanuts? Cost you two dollars. Can I use my cell phone? Tower, do you have anything to add to that? I have nothing to say. It's a great thing. Or, uh, Right behind that, Lufthansa 747. Once they, he exits the alleyway there, we'll be able to make a right turn and head into the gate area. Uh, thank you for remaining seated until I will turn off the seatbelt sign once we uh, park at the gate. Until that time, please remain seated. Again, welcome to New York. It's a beautiful evening here, about uh, 70 degrees right now. Let the abuse start. Come on, you can't let them get away with that. 
Nice, Bruce. Hey, welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. Thank you. Good to be here. What was the temperature again? <laughs> Where's our gate? This airplane was so quiet that pilots couldn't sleep. Let me explain. The plane you're seeing is the Airbus A380, which is the biggest passenger airplane in the world. As with any airplane, they generally are very loud, which makes it hard for the crew to rest. However, Airbus made it a priority in the A380 to keep the cabin as quiet as possible for the comfort of the passengers and crew. So what made it so hard for the crew to sleep? Well, the crew rest area on the A380 is located behind the economy passengers, and without the sound of the engines to drown out the noise from the cabin, the pilots couldn't stop hearing all the noise from the economy passengers, making it even harder to sleep than before. As a result, they installed a system to play white noise to once again drown out the noise. Station calling U.S. military aircraft. Please identify yourself. Uh, this is the Chinese Navy. This is the Chinese Navy. This is the Chinese Terror Sky. Please go away quickly in order to run judgment. I am a United States military aircraft conducting lawful military activities outside national airspace. I am operating with due regard as required under international law. My girlfriend's on that flight. I was going to propose to her while you were in the air, but I chickened out. Come on, that's bad. That's really, really bad. Well, can I, is it too late? Not too late. Not too late for anything. Well, put me in front of everybody. All right. Okay, my friend, you are on the whole airplane. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your air traffic controller speaking to you. The reason I am speaking to you is because there is a very special lady on your flight this evening. Her name is Christine Waters. Christine, I'm crazy in love with you. Can't imagine my life without you. You can't see me right now, but I'm down on one knee. I have a ring in my hand. Christine, will you make me the happiest man in the world and be my wife? Everybody is jumping up and down, and she said, yes, I can hear her all the way back here. And the whole airplane's shaking. This plane crashed on purpose, and it wasn't by a terrorist. Let me explain. The plane in the crash was a Boeing 727. It took off with six people. Once the airplane was far away from a populated area, the six people on board skydived out of the airplane, and another pilot controlled the airplane remotely from another aircraft. The pilot then purposefully crashed the airplane into the ground at 1,600 feet per minute, which for reference is about as hard as a smooth Ryanair landing. What was the motive for crashing the plane? Well, it was actually for a documentary and experiment. The airplane was filled with test dummies, and the aim of the experiment was to see which seating area would be the safest in the event of a crash. The results show that the further to the front of the airplane you are, the more at risk you are of dying from the impact. That being said, every crash is different, so this doesn't necessarily apply to all situations. Of course, there were no injuries, and now you know why. The pilot just asked me if I fueled this plane yet or not, because they're taking off right now. I told him I did. April fools, I didn't! <laughs> they won't make it past Kansas. You know, maybe that's not funny.